recently, crying in the middle of the aisle at Target, just in the middle of ugly crying, hard crying, okay? And I was like, oh no, I should do something. So I'm in Target, I get myself ready, she's crying so hard, I go right up to her and I'm like, excuse me, ma'am, uh, I think you mean to be in Walmart right now? So, <laughs> nailed that interaction, yeah. How about, how about don't cry in Target, Karen, okay? I'm not paying an extra 15 cents for macaroni and cheese to see you cry. Target is for champions, okay? Ridiculous. I don't, I don't have a cool middle name. It's Bernard. It's, it's, did you say that? Bernard, that's not cool, right? But it sounds cooler when you say it all together. Warren Bernard Hall III, right? That sounds more... Right, but no, don't get excited. I'm the first. Don't get excited. Don't. Yeah. When I was little, I asked my mom, I said, why, why would you name me that? And she said, because when you grow up, if you come into money, I want you to have a name that sounds like you deserve money, right? Which is cool, but what does that say about my sister, Tanika? That name clearly says, you want fries with that? Spiders are more afraid of you than you are of them. False, not real. <laughs> nope. No spider is more afraid of me than I am of it, okay? No spider has ever caught me in bed and been like, well, I am sleeping in the living room tonight. <laughs> That's never happened. No, no spider has ever seriously considered burning its apartment down because it found me, you know? No. <laughs> That's never happened. No spider's ever been peeing in the middle of the night, and then I ran past it, and it peed all over itself, okay? <laughs> that joke is so much more real than I want it to be. It's... <laughs> She's a bad driver. I said it. There it is. She's a bad... She drives way too close to other cars, right? But I'm a good husband. I don't mention it. Sometimes. Sometimes it looks like she's gonna hit the car in front of us. Sometimes I get scared, it's not cool. Sometimes I, get, I yell things out, things like, Lord, save you, please help me. Don't take me, please, don't take me, please. Please, I'm your humble servant. Please. It's a white minivan, please don't take me. So because of that, now she thinks I'm into gospel music. Yeah, she thinks my favorite song is Jesus Take the Wheel. You're laughing. I didn't know that was a real song till two days ago. Have you ever just seen someone in public who's gonna talk to you and they're just so white trash you don't have the energy to deal with them? <laughs> so many crazy people. So this guy, he comes up to me, all right. This dude in Walmart covered in his tattoos, he comes up to me. His opening line to me, the first thing he says, he goes, hey man, where'd you do your time? Like, what? I've done zero time, everyone. I've never been to jail a day in my life, okay? This guy's, but he's like, he's just making an assumption about me. He's trying to connect with me. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna connect with him. I'll meet him halfway. I'll just mess with him a little. So I was like, you know how it is, man. Did five years in Azkaban, no big deal. Yeah. Yep. He, he wanted to impress me so bad. He was like, word, all right, cool, cool. Like, all that time in prison and you didn't read one Harry Potter book. <laughs> seems seems kind of like a waste, you know? I don't know what he's up to now, but I'm pretty sure it's not reading, so. Do you guys, do you guys have Waffle House here? Do you have, do you have Waffle Houses? Yeah. Do, you have, do you have Waffle House here? God, have you ever been to a Waffle House? You ever been to a Waffle House? Okay, good, 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 good. Okay. If you've never been to Waffle House, you guys are my witnesses. Waffle House, it's, a, it's a, like a ma and pa style diner most lower end diner. Uh, the food there is great, but it is a filthy establishment. <laughs> right, if you've been there, you know the food is good. Sometimes you gotta bring your own silverware. <laughs> right, it's scary, but I love to eat there. And I have a friend, she works at IHOP as a waitress, so she feels snooty compared to this place. She always telling me, Warren, please stop eating at the Waffle House. 
said, why? I love it. And she said, because the girl who serves you your breakfast there is probably the same person who cleans the toilets there. And at first, I was like, yeah, I was like, ugh. Then I remembered, that's how it is at my house. 